Tom, hi. Lovely to meet you. I'm Zal from The Upcoming, and congratulations on a fantastic film. See how they run. So this is your first feature. Um, can you tell us why you sort of chose to, to, to get involved in this project as your first film? Yeah, well, um, yeah, it's my first film, and um, I got asked to read the scripts around about the time we were finishing the final series of This Country, and in some ways it couldn't be more different from This Country, but there were some similarities that also attracted me to it, which is that it's a thriller and a murder mystery, but also underneath it all it's a character comedy. It's about these two detectives and their um, oddball relationship and whether they can come together to, to solve this, this case. Um, so yeah, the chance to do something different but with an incredible cast and some old friends to boot, yeah. And uh, did you kind of have any input into the cast? Because I know you worked with a couple of them in this country, mm. so how did that kind of come together and what was it like working with such a huge ensemble? Yeah, I was to get, um, yeah, I was involved in the whole process of um, casting the film. Uh, the first person we approached was Saoirse Ronan to play the lead. Um, she said yes, and it kind of went from there. It was like, oh, that's easy. So um, very soon after, Sam Rockwell came on board and David Yellowo, and suddenly we had this brilliant core of a cast. Um, and that just kind of continued throughout the whole process. The thing I'm most excited about is that you've got these brilliant big screen actors and actresses who people might know um, from films, um, but also some of my comedy heroes from UK um, films and television. Um, so people like Reese Shearsmith and Sean Clifford, Charlie Cooper and um, Paul Chahidi, both friends from this country. So yeah, being able to bring a, together such an eclectic mix of people, but make it feel like one uh, ensemble was really, really pleasing. And obviously, you know, it's a comedy, it's a murder mystery. What do you think is the mass appeal of this kind of genre? I think murder mysteries make for great stories because they, they really pull the audience in in an immersive way because the audience is trying to do the same thing as the detectives are trying to do. They're trying to crack the case. Um, the challenge then is how do you do something new with a genre that's um, been done so many times before? Um, and, you know, it, it, that's what excited me about this film is that it was a, it's, it's a, a film that's a murder mystery, but it's also about murder mysteries. The murder mystery is almost a character in the film. Um, and hopefully that's a, a chance to put our, our own twist on it. And obviously, um, you know, there's a little slant on the mousetrap here. Well. Yes. Um, so were you a fan of Agatha Christie as well before you even got involved in this project? I was a huge fan of Agatha Christie, particularly in my youth. Um, I would watch Poirot every Saturday night with my little brother and try and crack the case. Um, so the David Suchet Poirot, Poirot was a sort of entry point for me and then, you know, read a fair number of the books as well. Um, never imagined that I would make a whodunit um, because I didn't really have an interest in making a straight ahead, straight down the line uh, murder mystery. But this came along and it felt like a chance to do, do a thriller but also do something um, a little different as well. So, um, yeah, very exciting. Amazing. And what do you hope viewers will take away from this film? I hope that um, viewers have a lot of fun at this film and um, that it works as a, both a thriller and a comedy. Um, and above all, I think it's a film to watch in a group of people, you know. That's been the brilliant thing about having our first couple of screenings of it is, you know, it's easy to forget the joy of being in a room of people laughing and, and kind of watching a thriller together um, as well. So, um, yeah, it's a perfect film to see back in cinema. And I clocked the camera just as I said that, which is almost perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for speaking to me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming. Cheers.